I have a 14 month old Doberman puppy that needed a puppy diet. Um, and I thought to myself, well, I'm gonna get her started in the best way possible. I'm gonna put her on this food. And there were several different options in terms of flavors and what she liked and what I could put her on in terms of her growth and, and her needs for development in terms of her bones and minerals and all that kind of thing. So we started her on Just Food for Dogs. But before that, we'd, um, my husband and I actually adopted a, a Boston Bulldog that I adopted him knowing that he has epilepsy. Um, and uh, it's a very frustrating condition because he obviously had to go through a process where we had to rule everything else out first. So he had to have full bloods run, he had to have an MRI, we did a spinal tap to make sure there were no parasites or infections. And he is actually under the care of a neurologist at the uh, SoCal Vet Specialist, Dr. Wayne Berry. Uh, we worked together to try and find out if there was any ulterior cause for his seizures and it just turns out that it's genetic um, and he does actually have seizures. And so we go through a process of trying to find out whether he has triggers, whether it's more at nighttime, whether it follows the phase of the moon, whether it could potentially be dietary. Um, and I tried everything. I tried absolutely everything that could be a trigger for my dog. I, I did even turn to cooking him his own food, um, but that became very frustrating because I didn't know how much of what to put in and, and what percentages he needed. And, Given the fact that he is on many medications to stop his seizures from being so frequent, he also has the added problem that his liver values are slightly higher than a normal healthy dog due to the drugs that he's on. So I wanted to be able to find something that I could do for him to try and make it so that food wasn't going to be an aspect of why he was having seizures. Um, so, lucky enough, I'm my own dog's veterinarian at some, some points, and I, I ran a blood panel, and I sent it to Just Food for Dogs, um, the veterinary area, and uh, had their RVT take a look at the work, and, and the doctor that's associated with the company take a look at it, and um, they actually were able to formulate a diet which specifically would really protect his liver from those drugs and the side effects that those drugs have in his liver and hopefully reduce his frequency of seizures. Um, I also had requirements with regards to what couldn't go in there. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't have fish in the diet because that gives him extremely bad gas and that wasn't something we were willing to put up with. So we worked together, a couple of emails, a couple of phone conversations and suddenly I get an email saying that Dougal's formulation is ready and it was uh, delivered to my house fresh frozen and so we started him on the Just Food for Dogs. And considering I've tried so many things to regulate his seizures and reduce the frequency, I have, I can honestly say he has less seizures on this food. And we tried many different foods, you know, over the counter, off the shelf, grain free, protein, no carbs, you know, organics, everything that it said on the packets, no this, more this, added this. Nothing has done the job that the Just Food for Dogs food has done for Dougal. Yes, he still has seizures, but they're not even close to as frequently as they used to be. Um, and this is something that Dr. Berry, his neurologist, has found very interesting. And, and I do believe that he is a believer that nutrition can play a role in not only protecting the liver, but potentially reducing seizures in some pets.